In order to get started developing with DirectX 12, you're going to need Visual Studio 2015 Community Edition uh, from dev.windows.com. This will allow you to, this um, link in particular will allow you to download the Windows SDK along with Visual Studio 2015 Community. Um, and it'll configure it all together so you don't need to set it up separately. Then you'll also need this zip of the master branch of this Microsoft DirectX sample. Uh, what I'll do is I'll put these links in the video description, but you'll hit download zip. Once you've installed uh, both Visual Studio and the SDK, and you have this extracted to a folder, you'll get something like this. What you'll need to do is um, go into any one of these. I would recommend Dynamic Instancing, which actually is the one I'm going to go into real quick. Uh, I'm actually going to close this out and uh, open up the solution file. Um, and there's two ways you can do this. You can either um, do it the old-fashioned way by going up here into the menu or going over here and building it. It's not really a tutorial about Visual Studio, but in case you don't know, uh, Control F5 will build and run. So if it's already built, it'll just run it. Um, you can use F5 to use profiling tools. Um, so that's pretty nifty. You can see I am running a AMD graphics card and an NVIDIA graphics card. I have, um, what I'll do is I'll run DX Diagnostics and I will show you my GTX 770 and my R9 270X.